We're back in the Wifold uh, Challenge Cup, Coxless Fours for clubs, and we have a race Go. here between on the uh, Berkshire Station, Mercantile Rowing Club Australia, and uh, on the right-hand side of your picture on the uh, Buck Station Sport Imperial. Yeah, and emphasis of the Wifolds just watching that steering. You can see that correction there on the Sport Imperial, and um, crew back on track now. He just had to come through two rounds to reach this stage. Mercantile beat uh, Molsey A and then the uh, German crew from Westfalen yesterday. Sport Imperial against uh, Pioneer Valley Riverfront on Wednesday and then the City of Bristol Rowing Club A yesterday to uh, reach this point. Yeah, Sport Imperial there, just down close to us, interesting there. And um, Peter, they're very close to the booms. Josh, Josh Butler, the bowman, he's got the steers, but he's got himself straight. And now they're quite close to us on that camera, but he's got his boat perfectly straight. He's got a busy regatta. He's coaching Westminster as well as racing here at the regatta. So he seems to be managing his time. And look, he's managing his effort because they've just taken the lead. Yeah, he has... Uh managed the first half of the race extraordinarily well for a sport imperial who as you see have established quite a substantial lead for this point in the race against the uh, australians who uh, said after their success yesterday how pleased they were with a second win that they had executed their plan really well confident going into this always room for improvement we had a better start than on the original day also better conditions and of course today sarah the, the conditions are pretty close to utopian aren't they uh, looking at this i'm hugely jealous one for the umpire but mostly for the rowers look at that it, it's beautiful the conditions are perfect um, at the moment it's pretty quiet out there on the river the water is flat so maybe there's a slight tailwind to help them come through and meaning they need to make sure they get on their feet and get on their feet at the moment sport imperial the butler brothers sam i think was having a little dig at his brother yesterday when he said we need to improve our steering from the start they they had that correction again today but it, it's tough peter these um, Coxless four boats coming off that start with the water, even with this light beam we have today, sort of moving round, it is tough to get them straight. And look at them now, these crews are perfectly placed. Absolutely, gun barrel straight. And uh, Sport Imperial, precisely where they want to be, they are being steered from the bow by uh, Josh Butler, whereas Mercantile are being steered from the uh, stroke seat by Angus Maloney. And it's Angus Maloney who's got his boat right close to the booms now. And, you know, they are solid bits of wood. I actually, we, there was a Henley swim on this course on a 4 a.m. on a Sunday. And two years ago, I managed to swim into them. I'm not sure how I did that, but they hurt. <laughs> Stay in the boat. That's the moral to be drawn from that story. Been a good couple of days for the uh, Australian crew. And uh, again, if you're a mercantile member back home, the heart of Friday evening and uh, gathered around your laptop in the club enjoying this well perhaps the race isn't going exactly as you wanted it to but your boys have uh, done you proud through Wednesday and Thursday they've reached the turning point of the uh, Henley Raw Regatta of 2017 but I think it's probably got beyond the point of no return now yeah look at that Sport Imperial there club names proudly across the back of their boat and, and back of their, their kit, if you like, and they are making the boat move really well. They're nice and flat, keeping each blade um, working together, stepping out nicely on those puddles, and you can see the stroke man there closest to us. He's just looking over there, managing his effort, managing his crew. So now the sun has disappeared behind the cloud. There's a little pickle chill in the air, but uh, it's a lovely, warm feeling for the uh, rowers of Sport Imperial, once more looking imperious. It's uh, a delight to behold, and so many rowing technicians like yourself, Sarah, have loved looking at that particular angle of the boat. You, you get a, a genuine picture of the degree of control. Yeah, you really can see these are strong men. They are averaging um, 13 stone a man, but they are managing their weight really well. So it means the boat comes across flat, you can see there just a little bit of touch um, on the rudder which made the boat move and the bow ball as we see it coming towards us shift. And interestingly, Peter, they've got clams on their blades. They've got them on the inside of their blades, but they're also thinking there is a headwind. They, they're ready to change their gearing, if you like, make it feel a slight bit lighter 
and not something they've chosen to use today, but they've obviously thought about that and thought about how they're going to manage it should conditions change later on in the week. Well, for them, there is going to be a later on in the week, and that's what today is all about. Sport Imperial coming up to the line now, lying in wait for them, either Commercial Rowing Club Island or Thames. Each of those will require very, very serious attention. That is going to be a terrific semi-final, however it works out. But Sport Imperial will be in the semi-final, having rowed with a great strength and grace and proved too fast on the day for Mercantile Rowing Club Australia. It is Sport Imperial who go through.